week has been designated as healthy and safe swimming week. The yearly observance is right before the week of Memorial Day, but before you dive in, the Center for Disease Control does have a warning for you. Darcy, I love to swim mm -hmm. uh, and I, I really, I almost want to plug my ears and not listen to this. Well, Daniel Bonds wants everyone who is listening to hear this. Mm. The unofficial start of summer is just days away and many of us will enjoy cooling off in a pool. But the CDC has a message. Don't swim if you have diarrhea and don't swallow the water. Reports of diarrhea outbreaks linked to cryptosporidium parasites, also known as crypto, continues to increase, especially in hotel pools and hot tubs. From 2000 to 2014, there were 493 outbreaks reported during that period, resulting in at least 27,000 illnesses and eight deaths. A third of those occurred at hotels and most of those were due to crypto. According to the CDC, the parasite spreads in pools when someone sick with the parasite has diarrhea in the water and other swimmers swallow that contaminated water. Dr. Lance Williams, a professor of biology at the University of Texas at Tyler, said this last summer. The chlorine is too low and the water gets too hot, then obviously you create conditions where the bacteria can grow. And even if the water is properly treated, crypto can survive up to 10 days. Michelle Lavsa, chief of the CDC's Healthy Swimming Program, said in a release, chlorine cannot kill crypto quickly. We need to keep it out of the water in the first place. Don't go into the water and don't let your kids go into the water if sick with diarrhea. Given the number of people who swim in pools, the odds of getting sick is pretty small. You're way, way more at risk of drowning or something along those lines. But the CDC says keeping water out of your mouth, nose, and staying out of the water with open wounds will help lower your risk even more. In Columbia, Daniel Bonds, News 19, WLTX. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just these two girls right here are just, mm. I'm going to the pool this weekend. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm just doing me in this morning on News 19 this morning. We were talking about how dirty your hotel room is. Mm -hmm. The pool's dirty. I'm staying home. Yeah, yeah. That's the only place you're staying safe. home. It's at home. Well, to keep you and your family safe this summer in pools or water parks, the CDC does suggest a few things. Don't swim or let your kids swim if they are sick with diarrhea like we just heard from Daniel. Don't swallow the pool water. Check the pools, hot tubs, and water playground inspection scores. There are uh. scores. And make sure there is a working shower available for anyone to wash off before swimming. Take your kids on frequent bathroom breaks and change diapers away from the pool. Mm. All right, all good advice. So let's let's all work on that. Well, I'm sure many of you have heard this joke or somebody's dad threatened you with it when you were little that there's a special compound added to the water. Um, and it will reveal the presence of urine and catch those if we pee or you pee or your kids pee in the pool. Well, today we reached out to a couple of pool companies in the area. They didn't want to be on camera, but they said, sorry, there's no such chemical out there that they know of, even though you'll probably not get caught. Research does suggest that urine can react with chlorine and create unwanted byproducts and I'll tell you what we I had one friend with a pool growing up and um, he would always say that to us don't pee in the pool there's a chemical in there and it's going to turn a bright blue circle around you if you do it I always believed him well good that means no one ever t tinkled in his pool. well not that I was going to tinkle in the pool but yeah. you know yeah oh, mm -hmm. yuck all right